At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson. And we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It is Liverpool versus Arsenal. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. the game. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Joel Matip in central defence. Mohamed Salah plays with Sadio Mane out wide. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. A match that should be chock full of talking points. Liverpool get it going. Arsenal's free kick here. Albert Sambi Lokonga. Now they've lost it. Alexander Arnold. Henderson. This is Salah. Not a decent position for Liverpool to be in. Delightful pass. Mane. Robertson. Terrific block. Salah. Good defending. Obama Young. Parte. Well, he didn't miss by all that much. Well, he struck it quite nicely, but the keeper was always in control of the situation. He knew that was going wide. Henderson. Salah. And Liverpool might be able to cash in. Jota. Fabinho. Salah will know that the pass needed to be slightly better. Arsenal struggling to keep the ball. Andrew Robertson. Here is Thiago. Fabinho. And return to Henderson. Excellent passing. Priority was to hang on to the ball, which he did.
Diogo Jota. Sadio Mane now. Henderson has eyes for goal. Henderson. Fabinho. Now Mo Salah. Just cutting off the supply. Well, there you have it. Liverpool have controlled most of the possession, but their attacking players lack tempo, invention, and goal. Something they need to rectify quickly. And a goal! Liverpool strike first in the final. And just listen to their fans. Well, let's have another look because this is a goal they have thoroughly deserved. They've played really well so far. The scoreline standing at 1 0. Bukayo Saka. Martin Odegaard. And it will be an Arsenal free kick. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Partey might be able to get in behind the defence Ben White Tierney well he knew he had to get to the ball and he did and there it is the half time whistle again Arsenal trailing going into the second half will they come up with the right response Salah and this is Diogo Jota now Thiago and you can sense the threat is there and he struck the post and the goalkeeper got there well that could have gone anywhere but the keepers reacted really well well, that would certainly have put them in a great position. But with only a one-goal lead, they're never going to be able to relax. Arsenal's free kick here. And fine work from Liverpool to win the ball back. Careless in possession. Martin Odegaard. Partey. And possibilities here. Now a decent position. It looks as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Fabinho almost weighing up the opposition with a string of neat passes Thiago Mane and this is Diogo Jota now Salah and the body in the way Jota here's Salah 
And Thiago. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Went in strongly, decisively. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? And players waiting in the centre. Lokonga. Aubameyang. This could level it. Oh, crucial tackle. Brilliant. Arsenal have given it away. Well, a decent position for Liverpool to be in. Making progress. Tierney. And it's played into the centre. Oh, the equaliser! Just what they needed. And the dream remains very much alive. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. But how is he allowed that much time and space? He doesn't even have to jump to head it in. It's a good finish, but terrible defending. Back underway. Level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. Well, these Liverpool fans believe there's still one more chance coming their way to win this game. If they can take it, this place will go wild. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? Well, he's gone into the book. Well, he was late and he deserved a booking for that. Substitution for Liverpool. Coming off the pitch, number six, Tiago. To be replaced by number seven, James Milner. Short and along the ground. Jones has it. Alexander Arnold. Now Mane putting his body on the line. Alexander Arnold. Robertson. Milner. Jota, can he put them in front? No is the answer to the question, and that could be so important at this stage. Well, will they get another chance? That would surely have won the game for them. Substitution they will now make use of the substitutes bench. And over it comes. It's not a particularly good corner there. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Thomas. And forward go Arsenal. Do they have a late winning goal in their future? Jones. Well, that's it for the 90 minutes, but this is not over, and two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. So away they go again, the first period of extra time, and it's legitimate to ask to what extent mental strength will come into this. Looking forward to it. Roberto Firmino. Here's Milner. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. Roberto Firmino. 
And Liverpool might be able to cash in. Well, possibilities inside the box. Andrew Robertson. Milner. Now Mane. Good physical play. And an astute piece of defending. And that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick. Roberto Firmino. Liverpool in a position of menace. Cuts it back. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. This might be ideal for the counter. Marcinelli. Tierney. Well, it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. Half-time in extra time, and still they are level. And so 15 more minutes. We're into the second period of extra time here. Matip. This is Salah. Well, a decent position for Liverpool to be in. This is Jones. Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. Not so late in the proceedings. Liverpool know they've got to make this catch. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, the goalkeeper doing what he's paid to do. And increasing the pressure. Another corner it is. And played short. Andrew Robertson. And the goal kick is the outcome. Time is fast running out. Five minutes left in the second period of extra time here. And a goal at this stage could be decisive. The tackle completely missed time, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. Well, the referee has decided to book him. Well, it's not a good challenge, and quite rightly, he gets a yellow card for that. And crossed towards Roberto Firmino at the back post. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Tierney. That's a useful cross. Well, the pass got in the way. A final that will live long in the memory. It's not finished yet because it's going to come down to a penalty shootout to settle the outcome.
And this will test the mentality of any footballer. Oh, and couldn't convert. Can he get the better of the keeper? And off the top of the crossbar. Well, he went for power and might be regretting that now. And he's been denied from the spot by the post. And he's beaten the keeper. And straight down the middle. Can he keep us cool? And he scores! Too much elevation off the crossbar. It comes down to this, a goal, and they win the game. One team jubilant, the other distraught. Well, what an end into a very good tournament, and I think they fully deserve to win it. Maybe not in this manner, though, but it was great entertainment. It certainly was, and they're not going to forget this in a hurry. A proud moment for everyone involved with the club, but for their opponents, it's a case of trying to forget and move on as quickly as possible. Well, I think we should give them some credit, too. They played their part in what was an excellent contest. Some of their football was brilliant. Yes, fair play, Stuart. The party in full swing now. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Four marks to the entire team. And now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition. And so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.